What's good? I'm back with another topic. Let's get straight into it. Today's topic is about LeBron James gets ejected for striking Isaiah Stewart. Um, let's talk about it real quick. Uh, last night, depending on when I post this, uh, Detroit Pistons played Lakers. Um, Isaiah Stewart plays for Detroit Pistons. LeBron James plays for Lakers. Uh, Detroit Pistons are shooting a free throw, you know. And LeBron James and Isaiah Stewart are down there boxing out. They shoot the free throw, and LeBron James boxes out. But when he boxes out, Isaiah Stewart tries to, like, go get the ball. And LeBron James, like, tries to hook him on the elbow. Well, not on the elbow. Around his body, he tries to hook him with his arm. And his elbow hits Isaiah Stewart's uh, eye or his lip, one or the other. And he just starts gushing blood. Like, it's, like, excessively. Like, it's, like, a lot. So, it's not like it's a regular hit. Um, as we know, though, LeBron James is not a dirty player. Everybody knows this. You know, he goes out there and he plays. He's never been known as a person that does, like, foul hits or, you know, just doing something out the ordinary to hurt somebody or injure somebody. He don't do that. He don't do hard fouls, nothing like that. So it's rare to even see LeBron in this predicament. But, anywho, Isaiah Stewart, you know what I'm saying, gets elbowed, gets to the ground. He gets back up. And he sizes LeBron up, like, on some, like, fighting tough stuff. Like, they're chapping, chapping, chapping. LeBron James, like, immediately says, my bad. I didn't try to do that. Like, like, just my bad in general. That wasn't enough for Isaiah Stewart. So then he starts walking towards him. As this has happened, the whole Lakers team, which is LeBron team, starts coming over trying to help LeBron, like, holding him back. And they're hardly holding Isaiah Stewart back, his team is. And, like, they're kind of not rushing Isaiah Stewart, but they're kind of, like, standing their ground on him, like, hey, you're not going to mess with our brother, which will make sense because it's LeBron James. Um, Isaiah Stewart, Stewart continues to try to get LeBron James. They have to hold him back to the sideline. When he gets to the sideline, he is still trying to get to LeBron James. He finally kind of calms down a little bit. And when he calms down, he just takes off. <laughs> he starts running to him like full court, full speed, like on some Tekken type, type fighting boy. Just starts going. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z style, bro, like trying to rush and get LeBron James. So Kay Coonington, he's a dude that plays for him. Um... His point guard, just like like falling down on the ground. He's like like grabbing him. It's not working. Isaiah Stewart's going through all that. There's coaches trying to stop him. He's trucking them. You would have thought he was a running back at this moment. He's moving them out the way. <laughs> He's causing a big stampede. The 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 uh, sports commentator is telling everybody to um, to everybody do not report to the the court. Do not report to the court. Um, do not get in the court. He's trying to calm everybody down. Everybody's just going crazy because it's insane at the moment. Um, at that point, they finally get him. Katie Coonington gets a hand of him and he's holding him back. And they lead him back into the locker room. As he's going back to the locker room, he takes off again as if he's going to go around to the other side and meet LeBron James on the other side as LeBron's going to walk out too. Now, we're seeing all this. Like I said, it's we don't know what his reasoning was, but I'm going to be real. I feel like when you start bleeding or you feel like you're severely hurt, you go threatening mode. Like you feel like you're threatening, you go like rage mode. I feel like that's what it was. Um, as far as the penalties or what they got, Isaiah Stewart got ejected from the game um, for just, you know, the, just creating the scene, of course, and trying to just buck up at LeBron James. But LeBron James got a flagrant two for the elbow, the initial elbow that started all this, which got him ejected. Flagrant two, flagrant one is just a technical. Flagrant two, you get ejected from the game. Um, so LeBron James daps his players up and he left. Uh, he was just chilling in the back, just chilling while this is all happening. He wasn't really going too much toward him, toward Isaiah Stewart, but he was just kind of like, like I said, just standing his ground. Russell Westbrook got into it. Uh, I saw Rondo on the court. I saw, um, I, mean, I just saw all the players. I saw AD bucking up. Everybody was like standing ground because this is LeBron James. Like, if you're gonna if you're gonna help somebody or like back somebody or jump somebody in in a time of need, LeBron James the perfect person <laughs> to help out. <laughs> like, if you're gonna help anybody, you're like, you gotta help LeBron James. Uh, so, yeah, that finally got calmed down, and they both got ejected. Uh, people were saying that um, should LeBron get suspended, but uh, it's kind of obvious that he's going to get suspended. Um, they're already talking about it. Isaiah Stewart, of course, he's getting suspended too. They're saying he deserves more suspended time because he was creating a scene. But, I mean, like, it all was created because LeBron accidentally just elbowed him, which I feel like if, if LeBron never elbowed him, the situation never happens. I mean, like I said, I heard some people say, like, you know, back in the day, like, bro, if you box somebody out, you hit somebody in the body or the stomach or the legs or something, cool. But when you hit somebody in their face or their mouth and make them really feel it, hey, it gets personal. 
And that is the truth, man. You can't touch somebody's face. Even if it was on accident and we know it was, like, no harm in, into it, you still just can't touch nobody's face, bro. I think at that point you do make a player really mad for real, especially if he's bleeding, bro. That dude was bleeding all over his face. I'll make sure I put the link in the description so you can get a gist of what I mean about how he was overreacting. But, I mean, I think anybody will overreact if you're bleeding that badly. I mean, you, you're harming my face. I, I might have a scar on my face for life now. You know what I'm saying? Your face is everything. Um... So, yeah, people are saying that he, uh, Isaiah Stewart, deserves a little bit more suspension time, but I feel like they both deserve about the same amount, two to three games. Um, I really don't think they should have got suspended from it, but the way that the rules are now, I do feel like they should. Um, LeBron, for initially just throwing the elbow, I know it was an accident, but, I mean, dude was bleeding. That's just the facts, bro. Maybe if he wasn't harmed, I'd be like, nah, he good. Dude was bleeding everywhere. Like, that's just insane. He's going to have a black eye when he wake up in the morning. So, yeah, bro, you need to be suspended if you got to give somebody a black eye. And somebody's bleeding, bro. You did too much, whatever you did. And for, Le uh, not LeBron, but Isaiah Stewart, I guess for creating the scene and running across the whole court, I don't know. I'm a little I'm a little tough with it. So, uh, I, I'm kind of used to seeing stuff like that. But I guess for the people that don't like that type of stuff or don't condone it and for the NBA's image, cool, suspend them too, I guess. Um, Isaiah Stewart's, uh, like they said, was a kind hearted dude. He's not no dude that's really trying to start beef. He's about business. He's trying to just score. He's trying to get his buckets and just, you know, make a name for himself. You know, he's a young kid. He's from Washington, I believe. He played at Washington in college. He ain't trying to spark no fights like that. That's probably the first encounter he got as far as just going rage mode, man. Uh, but, yeah, other than that, um, that concludes this topic. Uh, we'll see what suspensions they get. This is LeBron's second ejection total. That's total. So he's only been ejected from... He's from the NBA two times in his whole career. He's probably played like 10 plus, 15 plus years. I don't know how much it was, but he's only been injected two times total. Two making uh, last night. So that's insane to see him get ejected. That's how you know that he don't be doing no foul play, bro. But it was just, it was entertaining to see. I think NBA needed it. It got everybody talking. Everybody saying that it shouldn't happen. Show talking about it. Um, and why not be against LeBron James? See what, what how he react, which it wasn't. Look, look, his, his team had him back, so he was good. He didn't really have to do nothing. It wasn't like he had to get in his face or nothing. It was really Isaiah Stewart just really pissed. But I don't blame the dude. The dude is bleeding. But, yeah, uh, like, share, subscribe. Give me some feedback on what y'all think about the situation, and uh, I'll catch y'all next topic.